Hey there my fellow intellectuals, how are you doing today? Today before we get into the actual video, I just wanted to share an interesting statistic that I saw on my YouTube analytics page, and that is about 70% of you guys who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed to my channel. And if you like these videos, I really recommend that you subscribe and click that notification bell down below just so you stay up to date with all the videos that I'll make in the future. Now without further ado, let's go right into the story today. So today's story, as you can tell from the title of the video, is about the AP physics exam that I took in high school and how I didn't pass that exam and how that affected me and how in hindsight it actually was a sort of blessing in disguise. And so for those of you who are not aware about what the AP exam is, AP stands for Advanced Placement and in the United States when you're in high school, you can take these AP exams or these AP classes I should say and these classes are supposed to simulate the college experience in terms of what the content of the course is like. So it's a way for you to sort of try and see what a college level course is sort of like. And if you pass the AP exam, you would be able to test out of the corresponding course in college. So for example, I took five different AP classes in high school. So I took AP French, AP Chemistry, AP Calculus AB, AP Physics. And did I say AP English Literature? I think I think that's it. Yeah, so five. If I, if I miscounted that, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll put down the list below. Um, and so out of those five subjects, I passed uh, AP Calculus AB. I passed AP Chemistry. I passed AP English Literature. And then French and Physics, I did not pass. And so um, essentially with the ones I did pass, I was able to test out of the first course of those subjects in college. And as for those other two, well, I didn't even take French in college, but physics, I had to go through the normal physics sequence uh, because I didn't pass the exam. And so uh, I remember like kind of being really stressed out at that point in high school, because obviously it was a time of test taking where all the AP exams happen, I think roughly in the same month. I think they're all in like April or May. And I was taking AP um, what else was I taking at the time? I think I was taking AP Calc as well as AP English Lit at the same time. And so, you know, there's just a lot of exams to study for. And I remember really wanting to pass the AP Physics exam because obviously I was really into physics. I got into physics that year or actually the year before in my junior year of high school. And I really wanted to try and test out of the first class in college because I really felt like I knew the material. And to be honest, I can't really even remember the exam at all. And I think maybe because I, since I didn't pass it, I didn't really want to remember it. So I, um, I remember just not feeling great after, you know, getting the results and realizing I didn't pass the AP physics exam because I, I just felt like, you know, I really, I thought I knew the subject and I felt like I had let my high school physics teacher down and of course myself down. And I was a bit, you know, a bit disappointed in myself. I, I can't, I can't lie, but in, in retrospect, I think actually it was sort of a blessing in disguise because I had to take the normal physics progression in college. And so I took essentially the same sort of course in college the following year, and I did really, really well in that course. I think every exam I had at least a 95% or higher on all of the uh, exams I took, and I got like 100% on all the homeworks. And I was really able to help other people who were struggling with the material. I was sort of teaching them, you know, the way that my physics teacher had taught me in high school. And it really just reinforced what I knew already, but just really drove home concepts that uh, I think I had struggled with a lot in uh, high school. So, for example, things that really were mystifying to me in high school were like rotational inertia and torques and anything that was sort of, you know, angular, angular or rotating or those kinds of problems had always given me a hard time in high school. And then when I saw it again in college, it finally just sort of like clicked. I was like, oh yes, now I, I fully really get it this time. And so, you know, I think, I think what a lot of people in high school, because you just don't have that perspective yet because you're in high school and you haven't gone to college yet. I think there are a lot of students, at least when I was in high school, who felt like if you didn't pass the AP exam in a particular subject, you just couldn't really succeed in that subject at the college level. And I'm just here to tell you that that's completely false and that you can totally do well in any subject that you don't pass the AP exam in. Because in my case, you know, I have two physics degrees now and, you know, I don't really think about not passing that AP physics exam in high school anymore. Um, 
you know, and I've gone on and learned so many other things besides the stuff that was on that exam. And of course, as you know, I'm also in a, in a PhD program in physics. So I just wanted, you know, people to know, particularly those who are in high school or at that age who are thinking about taking, you know, AP exams, that even, you know, that this is a big exam and that, you know, you should try your hardest to pass it, that you shouldn't feel like it's the end of the world if you don't pass it, because you'll just take it again in college and, you can learn from it. You can, you know, reinforce the things you you knew before, and maybe improve upon areas that you were kind of weak in. And ultimately, you can go on and have a very successful, you know, major and potentially career in the thing that uh, that the AP exam was in. So I know this was kind of a short video. I didn't mean for it to be too long, but I just wanted uh, you guys to to hear my story with the AP physics exam. And uh, as always, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys will tune in for future videos. Hi, everyone.